I begin searching for material about music therapy and click on the search button. Here is the Primo search result. Let's take a look at how the system is organized. From the top menu, you can access your personal Primo settings. If you haven't signed into the system, you will automatically be using a guest account. Be aware that on a guest account you cannot save your search history. Below is another menu where, for instance, you can change the language if you wish to. In the search field, you can change your search term or choose advanced search. Just below the search field, there are three fields where you can select types of material and choose where, in the Primo records, you want to search. Primo will also suggest alternative search terms, in this case, whether or not you would like to search for music theory instead. To your left, there are a number of options or facets. The facets will allow you to limit your search to a specific type of document, a specific subject, or other. The facets in Primo will suggest new related searches. Also, there is a link to an RRS feed on your search. If you have signed in, it is possible to save your search. At the top, it is possible to sort your search result, for instance by year of publication, and flick through the pages. For every result, it is possible to view details, location, and put in a request if you are signed in. Right, let's get back to facets. I click on the topic facet, Music Therapy. Now my search result has been limited to, f to 39 records. You can remove the facet from your search easily if you want to. Or you can combine facets like this. I add material in Danish and my result is now down to f five records. The facet Danish is removed easily. One last feature is your e-shelf. If I click on the little star next to a record, it will be saved on my e-shelf. Here, I can go through the records once more and save the ones I need. Finally, there is a feedback button that you can use to tell us what you think about the system.